All over the world, the difference between man and woman is their sexes. But in Oban community in Obodu local government area of Cross River State, the men here have different words for communication from their women counterparts. The thing from uh, the God who make us, we know ourselves who make us. A newborn baby itself, or baby girl, or baby boy, immediately they born them, and they will follow what the man speak. The woman on will follow what the woman will speak. If you be man, they will continue to speak man language. If you be woman, they will continue to speak woman language. This tradition forbids women from speaking the same language used by the male. You and your husband are the same language you are speak. We know the same language. How do they, they communicate now? My wife would they hear herself. Mm. You know if you speak your husband? I know that if you speak. What of your husband? Eh? Your husband, they speak your husband? Uh, they speak my own. Which? Irui. Irui is yam. Mm. Okay. Keton. Okay. What of I am hungry? What do you mean? In your will. What of I want to sleep? You know what I say? You know what I say? In other words, in a home, the husband must speak a different language from the wife, and the man must find a way to communicate with his daughter and vice versa. You speak your own, eh? You have to say, My name is this, your own language. Are you happy that um, your mother speaks different language from your father? Yes. You're happy? Yes. Which language do you prefer, your mother's own or your father's own? My father's own. Why? My father own. I am a boy. The village head of the community, Joseph Aleyang, says in spite of the language differences, the Uban community has remained one of the most peaceful in the state, promoting communal living. I say I know it. Um, we are a senior people in this world. The reason is that when God give us these two languages, he think that if you continue to give two languages, it will not be it will not be go around. So that's how. We speak two different language. If I I want to speak woman own, I can speak. But women, if they want to speak our own, they cannot fit. Like today, we call them women. We call already. That's today, already for men. Woman, they say orinyani. Orinyani. Tomorrow, man go say ofuye. Woman go say ofuye. For now, these children are speaking with one voice. But in a few years to come, communication may break down, as a tradition forbids the man from having the same language as the woman. Will this continue? Only time will tell. <laughs>